uh, I, I just check them little by little, but not in detail. Sorry? I said I went through them and not in, det in full details, yeah. Okay, okay. You want to take some time and uh, look into that? Okay. Oh, are we going to discuss them right now? No, 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 no. I want you to go through with them. And uh, anyways, I'm going to discuss on uh, test case document and traceability matrix. Yeah. So what is, okay. Yeah, what is the IEEE? What is the? IEEE. I triply. It's a. Uh, are you talking about uh, the document which I've shared with you? Yes, yes. I know. I've been seeing the I triple E in a couple of other documents. No, no. Actually, usually I triple E means it's a standard uh, institution. It's majorly for uh, electronics and electrical engineers. Oh. Okay. Yeah. It follows some set of standard rules. And uh, based on this, best practices only we need to work on. Okay, oh. it, it is like um, institute for uh, finding out the best practices. Each we need in every field. Okay. Yeah. Any questions? No, I know. I I don't have that. Then uh, can you share my interview feedback with me now? Okay, okay, perfect. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, before that, I need uh, time. Just, just give me two minutes, okay? No problem. Uh, yes, uh, I want you to share that again, please. Okay, let me send you to me. Because uh, it is in the name of, uh, I mean, it's from a different email ID, right? Uh, no problem, I'll send it to you. Sorry? I'll send it to you. Okay. I don't know. Uh, I've not even told the uh, Arjun. Maybe you'll be hearing that. I one of the old uh, resume um, application that I've made. They just called me yesterday for an interview on, on tomorrow Wednesday. Sorry. Have you seen that? I've just sent you something. Me to me or Arjun? To you. Okay. Yeah. What is that? No. Have you seen what I sent to you now? I've, you said I should reshare it. I've sent it. Okay. Okay. I got it. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. I got it. I'm now saying that I've not even mentioned it to Arjun that uh, I am going to have an interview tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Is it? And um, um. Okay. Let's quickly discuss that because. I have one or two things to even ask concerning the. Sure, 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 definitely. Yeah. So you're not sure whether you're going to have an interview tomorrow or not. Uh, uh, well, it's like uh, we we agree for a time tomorrow, so I'm I'm hoping that uh, it's for three, it's five p.m. tomorrow morning, uh, tomorrow afternoon.
So are you there? Ashwini? Ashwini? See, there's some sense there. She's not there? Yeah, it looks like she is in muted. Yeah. Let's hold on. You're talking about with the cognition? Shola? No, no, not the cognition. Which one? Who is the client? It's equitable. Yeah, I've, no. applied since, uh, I've applied since last day September. So they just called me. Okay. Okay, Ashwini is uh, joining again. Come up with the methodologies under Agile. What is that you're going to do? Or how exactly the, uh, the wireframes are different from your actual development process? Right, Shola? Yeah, I'm listening. See, there's a lot of difference between a BRS and SRS. BRS is just the high-level documentation of your requirements. Whereas in SRS, you'll be including all the details related to your functionalities. So you'll be explaining each and every requirement in such a way that that will be helpful for your developer to come up with the actual code. Okay? So BRS is a part of your SRS. All your requirements are included. And we'll be analyzing on these requirements. Okay? And then when you speak about the Agile Sprints, yes, you perfectly said it, it completely depends on your project size or the requirement size. Like it will take three to seven days, the sprint size. And um, see, usually if it is not developed by a given time, then the, you'll find out the reasons. Reasons. What might be the reason why you have not uh, made it on time? Is it because uh, your estimations went wrong? or are there any additional requirements in between, like enhancements. If the first one, if the first case is happening, like estimations went wrong, then you may take a chance that this is what the problem initially and you want some more time to work on that. But if at all, if it is like at the requirement end that it is like changing from the client end, then you need to take a confirmation before proceeding with that development. Okay? Yeah. So after all these things happens, like you have uh, gone through a proper template and you want to get a confirmation and still if you are not able to develop or deliver that module or that sprint on time, then what you are going to do? You simply mention that uh, uh, the possible reasons, what, what went wrong, okay? And uh, this time you will make sure, you need to convince, anyhow you need to convince your uh, client that next time you will be uh, coming up with a complete set of requirements on time. Like, mm -hmm. Along with the current sprints work, you will be finishing the rest of the works too. Okay? Yeah. So that might be the least case what will happen at the end. Okay. So the, C uh, the SRS mm -hmm. and the, uh, the Business Requirement Document BR, uh, BRM. BRS? No, no. I think he, he asks about the BRM, not BRM. Both are same. Business Requirement Document or Business Requirement Specification Document, BRS. Yeah. So the, you said the, the BRM is a high-level requirement statement. Yes. It will be having all your requirements functional requirements, whereas in SRS you will be detailing each and every requirement along with the analysis. Yeah, in the, R in the SRS, it will exactly. be, be detailed requirement to smaller, into lower, uh, into low requirements level. Exactly. So, I have given you n number of samples also, right? Yeah, because uh, you know, that's why I, I kept asking that uh, you give us SRS document for eight years because I remember in it you said the major difference is the features that uh, the SRS will combine the BRM into combine the functional specification document and uh, no 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 uh, Shola I have already shared uh, BRS with you SRS with you along with BRS SRS I have even shared something called IEEE standard document. 
So this is more than enough for you. Okay. Fine? Yeah. Hi, Zubair. Hi, uh, hi Ashwini. Sorry, I How got you? late. Uh, I'm fine. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, we were just discussing on Shola's interview, okay? Oh, uh, okay, yeah. The other day he shared his um, recorded version, so we were discussing it. Um, okay, fine, Shola, any more questions? Yeah, no, no much. At least you've addressed where I want to look at. Um, oh. Okay, but um, I, you know, I sent you another uh, requirement just now. Did you see that? No. Okay, that's in your email, I guess. Okay, okay. It's about. Yeah, I'll be having another one tomorrow. Okay, you said uh, there will be one more, and it's like intermediate level VA. Yeah, so I, I sent you that. I just have a couple no. of to ask, maybe before we go. How can we... Um, he said here, uh, how can we refine requirements using evaluation techniques? What are the evaluation techniques of refining is there anything like evaluation techniques? Evolutions are nothing but requirement gathering. How you evolve, how to uh, gather the requirements from your stakeholders. You're running out all my information. Yeah, because part of the job requirement said refine requirements using hmm. critical evaluation techniques, system knowledge and experience. So, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Repeat that. He said one of the job requirements says refine mm -hmm. requirement. There's a lot of back and background noise from your end. He said refine requirements mm -hmm. using critical evaluation techniques. Okay. Knowledge and experience. So I said I've never heard of evaluation <laughs> techniques. Throughout the BA courses I've done, I've never heard of it. Evaluation techniques for okay. Uh, what does evaluation mean? To evaluate, to look into something and uh, to assess. Evaluate is like to 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 act, to assess it. I, I would like to put it. to see how to. Evaluate in the sense find out the requirements. How to find out the requirements? Okay, so yeah. we have worked on multiple techniques, right? Brainstorming, questionnaire, okay. so, chat sessions, rapid application okay. development. All okay. these okay. are your. There is find out requirement elicitation technique. Okay. Yes, to gather the requirements. Okay. So the judge is complex word. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now okay. let's go with the uh, just a second. Um, yeah. So yesterday we worked on test case templates, right? Now we're looking to requirement traceability tricks. Okay. Hello. Yeah, we're here. Okay, okay. So what is a traceability matrix? Uh, traceability matrix is like uh, if you want to uh, map the requirement, if you want to uh, map the uh, like user requirements back to the business requirements. If you want to map the functional mm -hmm. requirements back to mm -hmm. the business mm -hmm. and, Exactly. Uh, yeah, so that is the requirement traceability matrix. Uh, that yeah, is usually. Yeah. Yeah, usually we use this traceability matrix to trace out the missing requirements if at all, if any. Okay, this is developed at the end. Once we are done with everything, I mean development and testing and before deploying the complete project at the client end, we uh, test engineers are supposed to prepare this traceability matrix. Okay. okay. Where we list out all the requirements in detail, proper functionalities, use cases and test cases and trace out if at all, if anything is not developed. 
Okay, so first have a glance on the definition and the sections what we include in this uh, traceability matrix. Okay, test engineer is supposed to come up with all possible scenarios. Now, yeah, look at this. As I said, requirements are divided into multiple use cases. So over here, we are just concentrating on two different requirements, requirement one and requirement two. And requirement one is having five use cases. Requirement two is having three use cases. Now, for use case 1.1, I have four test cases. Similarly, for use case 1.2, I have four different test cases. If at all, if we have if we are done with testing all these four test cases and development of use case 1.1, then we mentioned that all the test cases with respect to this use case are developed. Let me show you an example. Wait. See, coming up with the login functionality, we have worked on this uh, test case template, right? Yesterday. Yeah. So. These are my possible test cases. What if, if username and password are correct? Whether we have developed this or not. So if it is developed, put a cross mark. And the next test case is username is correct and password is wrong. If you are testing this scenario, if, and if it is done, put a cross mark. And my third test case is username is wrong and password is correct. And I have not developed this. I mean, your developers, your test engineers has not developed this. Then we leave a blank over here and carry on. Okay, carry on with the rest of the functionalities. So we need to test each and every test case, whether it is developed or not. If it is not developed, we need to leave a blank like this. And at the end, we'll be sending this for review. So this is how we trace out a missing requirement in a traceability matrix. So for that, you need to have complete list of functionalities, use cases, and test cases, so that you'll trace out the missing requirement. Got it? Yeah. Like, oh, for example, the first one, how can it be blank or wrong? Is that blank? Yeah. Yeah. How can it be blank? Oh, we just need to put a cross mark. That's no, it. No, if no, it no. is developed. For you said username and password are huh? blank. Are blank. For number four, the four point. Yeah. 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 So. What will happen for us to know that it is, it is blank? No, no, no. Uh, see, if it is developed, see, for example, um, this this is a test data for me, okay? If I'm giving username and password as uh, a blank, okay, I'm leaving it, what happens with the application? And if I'm giving wrong username and wrong password, what is happening with the application? Okay, so what... Okay, I'm trying to work with multiple inputs. Yeah. These so are test data for me. And I'm checking whether it is developed or not. So if this test case is developed, I'll put a cross mark. Yeah. Okay. So and what you are saying that? is that you leaving it sorry, blank sorry. leaving it blank means that you are not putting anything in it. Leaving it blank, uh, yeah, this one. See, leaving it blank in the sense we have not tested on this. We have not tested what happens when username is given wrong and password is correct. I'm talking about four, number four. Yeah. Okay. So what, blank mm -hmm. what action did you perform to say it's blank? That's what I'm asking. Oh, blank in the sense we are not giving any details. We'll simply click on login without giving username and password. Okay, that's what I want to understand. Okay. Okay, fine. Any more? Yeah. Uh, like Ashwini, uh, this uh, requirement traceability matrix is made by by listing the requirements and the use cases, right? And uh, exactly. if you just go to the uh, if you just go to the top screen, uh, we can see that huh? we are uh, requ yeah, requirement one and use case one point one one point two like this. How do we know that this use case one point one belongs to requirement one? Oh no no. See first you start with listing out your uh, high level requirements, right? Right. Yeah. High level and low level requirements, and from this HLR and LLR only, you will be getting your use case. Let's say for example, we'll start with the first use case. Okay. Uh, sorry, first requirement. First requirement may have n number of use cases. Correct. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Got it. Got it. Got it. So, they're divided into multiple 
test cases. Okay, 1.1 and then 1.2 and so on. So whenever we have a requirement, it, it will be having use cases and use cases will be having multiple scenarios, the test cases. Okay, so based on each and every test case, we need to give multiple inputs and see whether it is working accordingly or not. Yeah. Got it? So of okay. course this is done by a test engineer and you will be there to review it. You need to uh, assign the task based on the things which are left over, the missing requirements. Okay. Got it? Got it. Okay. The missing requirement, the requirements means uh, the requirements which are not tested. The requirements which are not tested uh, at the test case level or at the use level, we have not yet worked on that. Even that might be a case. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So that's the reason we need to list out right from requirements. Perfect. And and also this requirement traceability matrix uh, is also used like for example if the uh, for the scope creep that is if the user wants to change the requirement in between then we can know what is the impact on the other requirements with the help of this matrix as well, right? Yes. So that's what yes even that is possible, but at the higher level, okay? At the higher level, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, Shola, any more questions? I'm okay for this page. Okay, good. And I think we are done with the topics. And also yesterday I've shared uh, a business use case with you. Yeah, the business case. Yeah, there's a business case we have shared. Mm -hmm. So this is the actual problem. And for this FRB career pages, already they are, they are having this HR portal. And now they want to enhance with some additional features. So imagine that you are a BA for this project. I wanted, I mean, the problem is to list out all the assumptions, the dependencies, and the requirements list. Okay. Perfect. So this is what you'll be getting, I mean, um, while you attend interviews, uh, other than the basic concepts, this is what they'll expect you to do as a BA. They'll be giving you simple scenarios, simple business cases like this, and they'll ask you to work as a BA and they see how you are approaching to this, I mean, what is your approach to such problems. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, you, Zubay, you might have received a basic module, a sub-module from your banking application. Yeah, 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 yeah. Correct. Okay. So, why don't you start working on the same thing, this example. Okay. Okay, this is an assignment for you. Start working on this and give me the list of uh, requirements first. What enhancements do you think will pro will uh, will be useful for your user? Okay. So based on that, I'll give you my inputs on that. Okay. Actually, I have a complete list of requirements what we came up with, but I don't want to show that to you now. I don't want to share that with you. Now. So once you're through with your at least basic understandings, based on that, I'll give you the list of assumptions, dependencies, and requirements. Okay. Fine. Perfect, yeah. Shola? Yes. Will you able will you be able to work on this? Yeah, I'll give it a yeah, I'll try. Okay, so this is the time I want you to go through with each and every recording. And so very please uh, I mean whenever you have some time uh, <laughs> work on the yeah. things and let me know, okay, so that I can help you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And Shola? Yes? Drop me a mail, if at all, if you have any questions, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Okay. okay. And Arjun, I think I'm done. Oh, okay. So, 